Hello everyone and welcome to another video on ECG. My name is Dr. Wajit Shibir and I am a cardiologist. This is the ECG which we are going to discuss today. This ECG is of a 36 year old gentleman who presented with one day history of high grade fever. He denied any chest pain at her presentation. Before starting the discussion, as always, pause your videos, note down the findings and diagnosis with yourself so that at the end of the video, you can compare your findings and diagnosis with the discussion done in this ECG. So starting with the discussion, the first thing which we look at is the presence of upright and prominent P waves before each QRS complex. These upright and prominent P waves before each QRS complex in rhythm leads, they indicate that the rhythm is sinus in this case. The next thing is rate. For rate, we'll select this QRS complex lying on a broad vertical line. In between this QRS complex and next QRS complex, we'll calculate the large boxes as 300, 150, and 100. So the heart rate is around 100 beats per minute in this case. So we may say that this is a sinus tachycardia. As you know, for axis, we look at lead 1 and lead ABF where we can see that the QRS complex is upright in lead 1 and it is upright in lead AVF as well. So by rule of thumb, the axis is normal in this case. Now when we look at the anterior chest leads, especially the lead V1, V2 and V3, we can see that there is prominent coped upward ST elevation in lead V1 v2 and this st elevation is around three to four millimeter in both of these leads, these leads and this st elevation is followed by t wave inversion in lead v1 v2 and this t wave inversion is also present in lead v3 as well so whenever you find a young patient without chest pain and an ST elevation which is coped upward followed by a T wave inversion in V1, V2 or V3. Always think of Brugada pattern. Brugada pattern is a rare inheritable condition which presents on ECG as coped upward ST elevation followed by T wave inversions in lead V1 to V3. And for diagnosis of Brugada pattern, especially the type 1 Brugada, Brugada pattern, there should be at least 2 mm ST elevation in at least 2 of three leaves that is v1 v2 and v3 so this ecg presentation is called brugada pattern for this brugada pattern to be called brugada syndrome the patient must have at least one of the following which include uh, presence of ventricular tachycardia or ventricular fibrillation history of sudden cardiac death in first degree relative before the age of 45, presence of core upward ST elevation in first degree relatives, or uh, present, uh, presence of ventricular arrhythmia in, in a patient with Brugada pattern on EP study. And in patient, and in patients with Brugada syndrome, the definite treatment is placement of ICD. In patients who are not suitable for ICD insertion, quinidine, which is a class 1A antiarrhythmic drug, it has been used and it is a class 2B recommendation to use quinidine in these patients. 
so this is all for today hopefully you like the video for more videos kindly subscribe to our channel and stay tuned allah hafiz and take care till next time